Irish teacher Enoch Burke released from prison. This is the guy who was a uh, misgendering someone and refusing to use the correct pronouns, but that wasn't. He was like sacked from the school because of it, because there's a little bit of a little bit of misinformation uh, in regards to the story, which I fell for, which I fell for as well. Uh, yes, he was like sacked from the school for not using the correct pronouns and refusing to use the fucking Zzims there, like, absolute nonsense and all that. However, the reason he was jailed is because he kept going back to the school after he was told to leave because you no longer work here. That is why he was imprisoned. Uh, and people were saying it was for the pronouns. It wasn't, you know, that was the first domino that fell, but the prison sentence was for something different. Uh, an Irish High Court judge has ordered the release of teacher Enoch Burke from Mountjoy Prison. Mr Justice Mark Sanfey directed that Mr Burke be freed from the Dublin prison, where he's been incarcerated since September. This was due to his refusal to stay away from Wilson's Hospital School in County Westmeath. The judge said that following a review of the situation, the fact examinations are now completed, the fact examinations are now completed, and the school is on holidays, he was directing the teacher's release. The court did not require Mr Burt to purge his contempt with an agreement to comply with the terms of an order made against him last year, the judge said. Last May, the High Court ruled that a decision by the school to suspend Mr Burke in August 2022 was correct. That's the bit I disagree with. Uh, Wilson's Hospital School had asked the court to find that it had been right to place Mr Burke on paid leave pending the outcome of a disciplinary process. He had argued that was unlawful and a, and blah, and a result of his opposition to the extension of transgender rights following a direction by the school to call a former student by a different pronoun. You don't have a right to be called whatever pronoun you want because that is what's known as compelled speech and when you compel someone's speech that's actually a violation of their human rights so you've actually got it back to front. Uh, the school had also obtained a high court injunction requiring him to stay away from the premises during his suspension. Mr Burt was jailed for contempt for a second time last September due to his refusal to comply with the order. Uh, overall, the teacher has spent more than 400 days in prison, so over a year in prison. Now, again, it wasn't for the pronouns thing. It wasn't for the pronouns thing. <clears throat> it was because he kept going back to the school after being told to stay away. In his ruling, Mr Justice Sanfrey expressed hope that Mr Burke would use the time to reflect on the situation and warned the teacher that the injunction remains in place. If there were any further breaches of the order, the judge said he would have no hesitation in entertaining a fresh application by the school to have Mr Burke committed back to prison. After the court made its order, Mr Burke left the, left the four courts with members of his family. Mr Burke appeared before the court on Friday as part of his bid to set aside what he claims is the gravely flawed and unconstitutional order made by Mr Justice Owens. That order had underpinned his incarceration. The judge heard submissions from both the teacher and the school over whether the court has the jurisdiction to entertain an application by the teacher to have the judgment by Mr Justice Owens set aside. Alex White SC for Wilson's Hospital School said the school fully rejects the suggestion that Mr Burt's constitutional rights were breached. Now, in regard to the suspension itself, probably because they were trying to compel speech. However, if he has technically been fired and the owners of the property have asked you to stay away from the property and then you come back to the property, yeah. Nope. If, if the owners of the property have told you to leave, you've got to leave. If they tell you not to come back, you can't come back. Uh, the teacher's application amounted to a gross abuse of the court that was unsustainable and is bound to fail, he continued. As a general rule, judges cannot set aside orders made by judges of the same divisions of the courts. What the teacher was trying to do in this application, counsel added, was to appeal a decision Mr Burke does not like by the back door. The counsel added Mr Burke had the option of appealing Mr Justice Owen's decision but chose not to. Following the conclusion of what were sometimes heated interactions between the judge and Mr Burke, Mr Justice Sanfey reserved his judgment and said he would give his decision in the coming weeks. Why was Enoch Burke in prison? Enoch Burke had been in Mountjoy Prison in Dublin since September 2023 after refusing to comply with court orders not to attend the school where he worked. He was suspended by Wilson's Hospital School in County Westmeath in August 2022 after he confronted his then principal in public at a school blah, in public at a school event in June. Mr Burke objected to addressing a student who was transitioning gender with a new name and using the they pronoun, which he should not be compelled to do. 
After he was suspended, he continued to turn up for his timetabled hours, and so a court injunction was put in place to try to stop him from doing so. After he breached the court order, he was jailed in September 2022, and although he was released three months later, he was jailed again in September 2023 for breaching another court order. Mr Burke has at all times denied being in contempt of court. He says he was wrongfully imprisoned because of his objections to transgenderism following a direction by the school to call a then student by a different pronoun. Now, now I will agree that a lot of this stuff, you know, a lot of the transgenderism stuff has seen a lot of people in prison. However, it's specifically cited in the court documents that it wasn't for that. It was because he kept coming back to property that he was told to leave. That's the problem. It was essentially trespass. That's what it was. The judge didn't say, well, if you're not going to use the pronoun, you can go to jail then. That's not what happened. Now, there are places where that has happened, but this isn't one of them. Uh, in his submission uh, to the court, Mr Burke argued that the High Court does not have the jurisdiction to consider his application to set aside Mr Justice Owens' injunction. Mr Burke argued that in his judgment, Mr Justice Owens completely disregarded his constitutional rights of freedom of conscience and the free profession and practice of religion when he refused to comply with the school's direction to call a then student by a different name and use the pronoun they. Now there could be an argument there, I mean, especially if he's Christian, that his religious rights were violated, but that wouldn't have been by the courts, that would have been by the school. So the courts didn't violate it. Again, the reason it went to court is he kept returning to property that he was told he wasn't allowed to be on. Right, that was that was why. However, he, he, I would say he definitely has a case against the school. Definitely has a case against the school, but not against the courts themselves. Uh, this resulted in the proceedings against him, which Mr Burke said had resulted in him losing two years of his life. Having to call somebody they, the teacher claimed, has no basis in Irish law. And again, it's true, you don't have the right to be called whatever pronoun you want. Right, you don't have a right to be treated a certain way, you don't have a right for people to like you. Right, can you, can you imagine that, if you had a right to that? Can you imagine all of you being forced to like me? I would be horrible, I'd be a terrible person. And I'd be like, ah, you can't do anything about it, you have to like me. <laughs> it's my human right to be liked. And I'm just like, going around doing Just Stop Oil shit. Shitting on Buckingham Palace and all that, and I'm like, ah, 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 you can't, <laughs> you can't hate me for what I just did. Little bit of genocide. Stock fraud. One of those is arguably worse than the other. But yeah. Again, he does have a case against the school, I believe, because that is compelled speech. It could have violated his religious rights and it also violates his right to freedom of speech, right? However, if there was an agreement where it's like, to work here, you have to call the student by the pronouns because I guarantee you, when he first started working there, all this pronoun shit probably wasn't a thing and wasn't in the job description, right? So basically, if that's a new thing that they get added, then he should have had a discussion with them about that and then possibly left the school. Because if you don't own the company and they change their rules, well, that sucks. It's their company, their rules. If you don't like it, go work somewhere else, right? So, he, but However, if they just decided to drop that in him and then sack him from his job and everything and violate his religious rights, he could have a case against the school. However, Again, the courts didn't jail him for refusing to use the wrong pronoun. They jailed him, essentially, for trespass. Still, it's an awful situation.